try and absorb it, I think. Yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's my honor student. Yeah. She's been honored for the last three years. Wow. Oh, yeah. She made the, she got the highest mark in grade 10. So she got an honor award for that, too. Yeah, she does well in school. She, they're compatible, them two. They're always doing stuff together. Yeah. <laughs> I hate, like, them all. They, they get along really well. Well, they're pretty close in age, too, so. So how do you attribute the fact that you've got these three great kids, I mean, that are just, you know, mm -hmm. kids that yeah. anybody would be proud to say, these are my kids. Yeah, and exactly. Mm -hmm. what, what do you attribute that to? What do you do that's so... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Make them mine. I don't know. Yeah. They're just good kids. And they've gone through a lot, so they've matured, you know, in different ways. And they've, they've, they've been, like, since Christopher was born, they were only two and three. So I had my family, like my mom and my sisters and Kelly's sister, you know, they always took my kids. So they had the best care when I wasn't around, which that helped, my, helped me too. You know, you're not worrying about leaving them with whoever, and so it's been tough on them, all of them, all of us, I guess. But we're a family. We got to do it. It's in the blue box. Remember, I put all that stuff in the box, right there. Yep. I think. Gosh, I can't remember. <laughs> Somebody asked me how to spell my name. I couldn't tell. Them. <laughs> Yes, it's in there. I had to think what it was. See, I'm trying to help them out, and it's not helping. <laughs> um, I'm thinking, you know, like, from what I've seen, I've only been in your home two or three different times, but I've seen you out there, and it's like uh, you really are the backbone of your family. And um, what? how do you get the strength? Well, when, if I don't stay strong, then... Yeah. Everybody else will collapse, and I can't let them collapse. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's got to be strong. I got good parents. I got really good parents. I got a great mom. She raised us quite well, and she's always been there for us. And I'm very fortunate to have a family like that. My whole family's like that. They're all there for anything we need, anything. So it's really nice. It's really good. Probably because of my upbringing. Maybe I had a good upbringing. <laughs> Maybe that's what it's wrong. <laughs> yeah. I would have had 13. Yeah. I wanted 30. Well, I didn't really want 13, no. but I wanted <laughs> lots. So Christopher surprised us. We just thought, that's it. Yeah. That's enough. That's a big job right there. So uh, any messages for these guys while they're out there on the road? Anything you can think to say? Um, just say it to them. Well, have fun, you know? Like, I know it's stress, and you got a lot of things on your mind, and there's a lot of things you have to do. But I hope you guys have a little bit of fun in this, too. <laughs> and good luck, and I'll come and bug you once in a while and rowl things up, you know? <laughs> After Tana? I believe so. Yeah, and see, I didn't want to tell her the wrong thing. Well, who knows? <laughs> Everybody's looking at each other going, I don't know, look on the website. <laughs> I don't know. Hello? Yes. Hi, how are you? Yeah, he's here shortly. He's leaving. Yeah, yeah, he's leaving. <laughs> Oh, thanks. I need to call. I wanted to talk to you, too. When I, uh, my pan, you just wash it with water, eh? And no soap. Now, will it make marks on it and you just leave them, or? Okay, so it eventually will brown and, okay, because I wondered that. Because eh? <laughs> my mom got one, she washed it with soap, and I said, don't do that. <laughs> right. After. Right, right. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Better wait. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for calling. Right. Okay, great. Thank you. Bye. Did you ever heard of pamper? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I forgot why I was uh, connected there. <laughs> phone, that phone's been ringing. Kelly's sister's been trying to call for two days and couldn't get through. I'm just thinking, well, Christopher's on the line all the time, yeah. talking to everybody, eh? Yeah. After we were all done, I uh, had a friend that couldn't make it, Nick, and he, 
mom, you got to take me to see him. I'm thinking, well, yeah, you're going to be gone for a year. Like, it's not like you're going to be home next weekend or in a month yeah. or something. Like, who knows, right? I better take you over. <laughs> Can I have to take him all these spots, eh? Say bye. <laughs> I'll see you in a year. Yeah, I noticed, you know, your whole family's been out there. Your mom, everybody, uncles, sisters. Yes. They're all behind what us. A great, yeah. great I'm very fortunate. Yeah. Even Callie, like, his family's good, too. You know, his mom's in Ford, but she's yeah. still there, and she's helping us, and, yeah. Yeah, my family's really good. So you've, yeah, you've definitely had a lot of press exposure, a lot of dealing with... I'd rather hide. You know? <laughs> I want to hide. <laughs> I think, focus on girls. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Hey, kazoo. You're going to miss your buddy. Hey, how's it going? Huh? How's it going? Hey. hey, how are you? How are you? Oh, you're a beautiful girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. You're going to miss Chris. I'll have to take her, won't I? We'll just leave me in the motor home. Oh yeah, I put him up um, on Chris's little, his little loft up there and yeah. she's sniffing everything and sniffing everything. And you're thinking, okay, does she know that he's leaving or getting all them smells in, are ya? Oh, your little buddy's gone, isn't she? <laughs> See, she won't lick me. <laughs> she knows, no licking mom, mom don't like that. No licking mom, yeah. Yeah, he's ready. He was ready a couple weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. I think it's the waiting and the preparing and stuff. So, yeah, like you said, you've been preparing for 10 months, but he's been wanting to go since he was 10 years yes. old. Yes. So how did you rein him in all those years? Well, that's when we met George. Yeah. Because we just talked about it. It was just talk, you know. Like, how are we going to, how could we do this, you know? And then we met George. Yeah. And then we met George again, yeah. you know, and then... He, he just said to George, he emailed George and said, George, I want to do walk across Canada. Can you help me? And George had to think about it for a bit, thinking while he's 13, you know. Yeah. And he says, okay, Chris, if you want to, let's go. So he's ready. I don't know what that was. So, so I think I'm going to have to tie her up for a few days just to walk out with her because I know she'll be looking for them. This is I Kazoo. Know. If you see this dog, <laughs> she belongs to Sandra Knowles and yes. Christopher Knowles. The dog with a yeah. spot on her back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she'll be running for, she'll be hounding down for it. She'll have to run pretty far. Better get your boots on. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's going to go nuts. <laughs> Aren't you? She'll be whining at the door looking for them. That could be good. Where's Christopher? Where's Christopher? Where'd he go? Hmm? Where is he? Christopher. Where's the kids? Oh, you know, and the kids, you know, they're, you know, they're getting out of hand, you know, and you start counting. I can't even get to two, and she's howling. <laughs> she knows we're in trouble, right? I'm thinking, stop. She don't like any violence at all. No violence. She'll run around barking and freaking out. Even if you're horse playing. No matter. She just don't like it. But if you start counting, I get to two, boy. Woo. Right, Kazoo? One. Two. <laughs> She's going, where's the kids? <laughs> no kids. We won't get you free out, eh, puppy? Poor puppy. She'll be all alone. She knows.